Welcome to uh, Worldviews 2013. The title of the conference is Global Trends in Media and Higher Education. I'm Mark Rosenfeld. I'm one of the Worldviews, uh, well, I'm the conference director as well as the executive director of the Ontario Confederation of University Faculty Associations, or CUFA for short. And we're one of the organizers of Worldviews along with um, the Washington based Inside Higher Ed, the London and Durban based University World News and the Ontario Institute for Studies in Education, OISE, at the University of Toronto. Hi, my name is Kirk Paris, and I'm the co-director of the Worldviews Conference, Worldviews 2013, Global Trends in Media and Higher Education. The premise behind the conference is it's its second iteration. The first one was in 2011. And of course, the idea was you know, just sort of look at these uh, conversations that aren't really happening between, you could say, major thinkers in media and higher education. I think what's really important for someone doing what I do working at the conversation is to understand um, the key uh, technological and business model shifts that are going on in both higher education and in the media industry. Uh, and they do have a lot in common and can inform each other. It's the only place I know where people from the media, meaning journalism, come together with people from higher education and sort of share um, their impressions and their preoccupations and so on and that seems to me quite important because uh, higher education is a very big industry all over the world and one that um, probably doesn't it gets reported in a, in, a, in a way that the higher education people feel is a bit uh, places too much emphasis on student rights and stuff like that I mean you know news is news so you've got to go after the student rights but I think it's a very good dialogue well, the conference is unusual in that it brings together the journalism side and the academic side. There, I go to lots of conferences that are academic conferences and I happen to be a journalist there. I go to journalism conferences that have a few academics. This is more where uh, those, we are all on equal footing talking about issues that affect all of us. This conference, like Worldviews 2011, is an attempt to take stock of the relationship between media and higher education, to learn more about how we can make it work better, and gain some insight into new trends and developments that have the potential to transform this relationship. In other words, the intention is to extend the conversation that began two years ago about the barriers to communication between academia and the media, and to look at possibilities for the future. Higher education sector is constantly forced to demonstrate its relevance uh, and so increasingly is the media industry. So getting people in the same room together to say, okay, you know, how do we demonstrate the importance of this sector? How can the media better cover important issues and be of a, a better service uh, to the general public? I mean, it goes to the heart of, of, of having an open democracy and the quality of information that you're putting out into the public realm. For me, because I'm pretty new to higher education, it's an ability to learn more about where the concerns and the trends coming out of the sector. And also because my background is in journalism, it's really interesting to see what kind of the challenges media have. Now, media want to talk to academics and academics want to get their information out to media, but it's kind of see a better understanding how both the worlds work in order and how they can work better together. I'm here because we've been one of the groups helping to organize this conference. International issues are increasingly important to higher education. Our audience is primarily American, but includes people from all over the world. And I think it's really important that journalists and academics talk about how to cover what's going on in the world. So this time around we've got delegates and sessions really focusing on specific areas uh, of Africa, now Africa specific, 53 countries plus in Africa. But we're really excited that that's a first time session that we're really looking at enrollment expansion and how media might be covering that in Africa as Africa really grows uh, economically, socially, culturally, politically. We also have representation from Asia, looking at India and China, the European and the North American contingents. So we really feel like we've got a, not a, a complete flavor, but a really, a, a rather rich flavor of perspectives um, that have come for the Worldviews Conference this time around. The media themselves are becoming an important tool for universities. I mean, I'm talking online, I'm talking the use of videos, all this stuff is going to be the way that universities teach in future. 
So I thought I ought to give people a sort of background on all that. Because the tendency is in the media to think that everything important started the day before yesterday, whereas in fact I tried to bring a historical perspective to this because I'm an old fogey who's been there around. I've been in this business for 40 years, so I felt it was important to know that you know, the reason it's happening now is because of certain things that have happened over the last even 2,000 years that have come us, taken us to this point, but at this point is not the end point, you know, it's going to continue to evolve and what we're doing now may seem old hat in five years time, but nevertheless we've got to do it as best we can. Well, I hope participants take out of this the need to ask tougher questions. It's very easy to say, oh, there are more international students, there are branch campuses, there are student protest movements. What's tougher is to say, what do these events really mean? How is the internationalization of higher education changing institutions and who benefits? So I'd like to take a moment to really acknowledge the sponsors that have made Worldviews possible. Without their generous contributions, this conference couldn't happen.